Hey there, in today's tutorial I will show you how you can make use of the PostGrid widget, which is the premium widget of the Happy Add-ons plugin. This widget is used to create your own blog archive, so make sure you have the Happy Add-ons and Elementor plugin installed. Let's start! So on your WordPress site, in the search box, I'll just type PostGrid and the widget will pop up over here. I'll just drag, drop onto the site. You'll see instantly some blog posts that you've already made will appear over here. Now you can choose to change the skin design. So we have seven from here to choose from. My favorite one is Hawaii and you'll see it changes in its design. So you can click standard. You can just choose any from the drop down list. The outbox style is a style we personally use in our blogs. This style did not exist before, but it was observed by the Happy Add-ons community and it was heavily requested, so we decided to include this style that elegantly displays the author's image for an article. If you select the Stylica option, you get to further customize the feature image. If you go to Divider Shape under the Style section, you will be able to add shapes from the type list. You can also adjust the width and the height and even change the color of the shapes added to your feature image. And then you can also set the number of columns. I'll just set it to three. And then you can even choose the number of posts per page. If I type four, you'll see four will four posts will be displayed per page. So I'll just set it to three for simplicity's sake. And you can choose not to show the feature image. It doesn't look very appealing, so I'll just enable it. And then you can change the image size of these feature Im images. And another feature is the badge over here. So if I hide it, you'll see that badge will disappear. The badge can be selected based on your categories or tags. And you can also control the title. So you can choose to hide it or you can choose to show it. And once again, you can also control the size of the tags from this page. Now, if I just scroll down, you'll see you can display the meta information. So in this case, you can, you can choose to show author, date, and even comments. So if I add comments, you'll see that the the logo and the text that is the meta information that will be displayed over here and you can choose to hide the icon as well so you can see well it doesn't look very appealing so i'll just enable the icon for the meta information and if i scroll down here again you'll see you can set the excerpt length of your blog so if you set 119 then this is the amount of description that will be displayed. Simply adjust the excerpt length to adjust amount of text you want it to display. If you want to add a button to enable a user to read more, just type continue in the read more box. You can also set it to read more. Clicking on this button will take a user to the actual blog post. You can also choose to open the blog in a new window and if you don't want that feature, you can just turn it off. In the query section, if you click, you can see that you can choose to display your posts based on the posts over here, pages or manual selection. So for example, if I choose manual selection, you just have to type a post that you've published and you can see all of these blog posts. You can even see some web page. So if you click on it, it's going to be displayed. So if I click on this blog post, you'll see that only uh, the one that you chose will only be displayed and you can choose to dis display based on author, date, title, and you can even choose to set the order by ascending or descending order. Now I'll set it to posts and you can see that you can include by authors or you can even exclude by authors or current posts. And another feature is you can choose to ignore sticky posts, just enable this. And if you only want to display posts with feature images, just enable this button. If you click on pagination and load more, you'll see that you can display pagination based on numbers, previous, next, or even both. So if I, let me just click on numbers and you can see that it's displayed over here. And you can also set the limit over here. So if I set it to three, you'll see that the pagination will be set to only three. And 
For example, if there are way too many numbers, then you can just enable the, the shorten button. So if I, if I just set it to 5, this is how it will be shortened. And you can fix the alignment, so let it, let's set it to center. Moving on to the style section, you can see that you can control the column gap under the layout. And you can also fix the alignment. In the item box, you can control the, the way the box is being displayed. So for example, you can choose to add a background image. And you can choose to control the position of the background image that is being displayed. And you can also add a border type. So I'll add solid. Let me just make it a little darker. And if I scroll down again, in the image section, you'll see that you can control the image of the feature. So you can control the width, you can control the height, you can also add a border to this. I just don't think it's very appealing, so I'll just remove it. And you know the badge over here? Well, this can also be customized. So you can control the margin, the padding, you can add border as usual. And you can, if you want to change the color, the background, the text, and topography, you just customize the settings the content section will customize the spacing over here so you can control the margin of the title and the you know the content over here well this can also be adjusted if you want to change the color of the text just like that the meta information over here you just simply adjust and you can also change the text color of the meta information and you know the read more the read more can also be customized just click on read more and you can as just like before you can customize the margin the padding you can and if you want to change the color the background the topography all of that can be customized right over here and you know the pagination that we added over here well just click on pagination and you can control the spacing and you can add a border to this if you're happy with what you see just click on update and let's preview our changes. So this is the final look of our blog archive using the PostGrid widget. If you want to make further changes, you can click on advanced and you can make more changes. But the basic customization can be done up to the style section. As you can already see, the customization and design can take time, especially if you're doing from scratch. So if you're looking for a shortcut to all of this, just head to the Happy Add-ons website, then click on Widgets, scroll to the bottom, and click on Post Grid. On the Post Grid page, you will see a whole collection of pre-made design fit for your blog archive page. So if you like a design, just click on Live Copy that will be displayed for every design. Click on Live Copy and then go back to your WordPress page. Click on the plus sign, add a structure, right click and click on Live Paste. And a ready-made, already designed PostGrid will appear and you can customize this according to your need. And that is how you can create a blog archive using the Happy Add-ons plugin. Subscribe to our channel or check the link in the description box below to receive email updates for new videos on web designing using the Happy Add-ons plugin.